Uh, Iranian proxy Hezbollah has now fired a barrage of missiles towards northern Israel. Uh, now, the projectiles were reportedly intercepted by the country's defense systems while some fell short in Lebanon. Now, as per the IDF, around 40 rockets were fired from Lebanon towards northern Israel. There have been no injuries that have been reported in the attacks claimed by Hezbollah. The IDF has now further stated that air defenses have shot down two explosive-laden drones that were launched uh, by Hezbollah in northern Israel. As per um, media, foreign media, the attacks came amid fears of retaliation by Tehran following an Israeli airstrike on the Iranian embassy that had also killed a couple of its top generals. My colleague Brian Thomas with us on the broadcast. Brian, Hezbollah now strikes Israel. Well, uh, definitely, Pia, you know, Lebanon-based uh, Hezbollah has engaged in resisting Israel attacks on Gaza since the very Israel-Hamas uh, war also that started. And now they reportedly launched a numerous missiles at northern Israel aiming to overwhelm the Jewish nation's Iron Dome interceptors. And even there were sirens also that was blared as both rockets launched and uh, started falling on the debris from interception attempts that triggered even the alarms. And Hezbollah has now claimed responsibility for the rocket barrage on the, um, you know, Gali uh, panhandle, targeting IDF artillery um, positions with Kat, uh, Katyusha rockets also, as said. And even uh, though there was, um, fortunately, rather, there were no casualties or injuries have been reported thus far. But yes, this escalation also, Pia, occurs against the very backdrop also of heightened tension between both Israel and uh, Iran that is going on and even following Israeli strike also on the Iranian embassy in Syria that provoked a stern response from Tehran as well. Now the IDF has also reported they have uh, launched uh, rather 40 rockets from Lebanon towards northern Israel with some intercepted and other landing in open areas or within Lebanon borders. And prior to this also, Pia, the IDF successfully also thwarted two drone-carrying explosive launched by Hezbollah towards northern Israel and struck buildings also used by the militant group in southern uh, Lebanon's um, Atiyah Shah Saab. And in response to the threat also of Iranian attacks, IDF spokesperson also earlier read Admiral uh, Daniel Hagari also emphasized tight coordination with United States Central uh, Command Head um, General uh, Michael, uh, Michael Erek Kirela, assuring civilians that Hagari stated that readiness to address existing uh, threats and even protect uh, Israeli citizens with a range of defense capabilities. Yes, we are. All right, Brian, I'd like to thank you. Meanwhile, joining us on the broadcast is Group Captain UK Devnath, defense expert. Good morning, sir, and thank you for joining us on News X. Tensions escalating in the Middle East following a strike by Iran uh, against, uh, by, I beg your pardon, Israel against an Iranian embassy. And of course, uh, Iran vowing to retaliate. Now, Iranian proxy Hezbollah has uh, struck Israel. Uh, do you think the situation can ex escalate even further? Uh, it goes to prove probably Iran is uh, not planning a big attack through its uh, ballistic missiles or cruise missiles on Israel. It shows that Iran is still playing the same old card, uh, that is using its proxies like Hezbollah to attack Israel. Hezbollah has fired these rockets into northern Israel. Uh, these are Katyusha rockets, these are Russian rockets of Second World War vintage. And these are unguided uh, rockets and uh, uh, they are very small range, uh, 20 kilometer, 40 kilometer only at max. And their warhead is very small, just about 5 kg or 10 kg of explosive is carried in that. So when they fall on ground, they do not cause much uh, damage uh, because they are very approximate as far as their accuracy is concerned. Israel has already reported that there has been no significant damage or injuries or fatalities on ground. Uh, Hezbollah uh, carries out these attacks because they feel that they have to come in support of Hamas. Of course, they get triggered by Iranian authorities. Uh, there are IRG uh, senior officers who are sitting in Syria and in Lebanon uh, guiding Hezbollah fighters for this kind of attack. The political significance is that it uh, proves that Iran is continuing to uh, use its proxies to put more pressure on Israel. The military significance is almost uh, very, very uh, minimal. Uh, the big question is, is Iran going to attack uh, 
uh, Israel with its uh, pro uh, conventional army, navy or air force. That does not appear to be the scenario right now. Uh, Israel has already threatened, even America has told Iran that in case Iran carries out a big conventional attack through its army, navy or air force or surface to surface ballistic missiles on Israel, then Israel and probably uh, US forces will carry out a massive strike against targets within Iran, which may include Iranian ports, harbors, uh, airports. Uh, and uh, their uh, infrastructure projects and most important Iranian nuclear facilities. So Ayatollah Khomeini has to uh, measure very carefully what will be his next big step. Because if he really fires uh, his ballistic missiles or cruise missiles on Iran, then this war is going to escalate. Israel will. Israel has already said that they have kept their F-15 Strike Eagle aircraft uh, ready for attacking Iranian nuclear sites. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.